This week, we take a look at Virgin Voyages and the 10 things that make it unique. Well, we have the answers, but do we have the answers? We're gonna give you the top 10. And if you disagree, or if you think this is not unique at sea, number 10, quite an obvious one, as it's adults only. Yes, other cruise lines do have adult only ships. For example, P&O has Aurora and Arcadia. Marella, they have adult only cruises. And some companies, some of the more luxury lines like Oceana, they don't have kids facilities, they don't have kids club, but if you want to, you can bring your kids on board, but you do have to pay an adult price. So we think that Virgin Voyages, 18 and over, completely across all of their brand and their ships, is quite unique. That is number 10. At number nine, you're used to your captain being in the captain's uniform, whether he's man or lady, but on Virgin Voyages, the captain will be wearing a polo shirt and be wearing the same uniform as everyone else on board. Number eight on our list, they do not have a buffet on board. Yes, they have the galley, which is pretty much a food hall and all the food is made to order. You head up to your station and you put your order in, you get a buzzer when your buzzer buzzes. Is that the right word? Then you head back and you get your food, which is made to order. On other ships, you of course do have the buffet. Some ships now have the food served to you. For example, on Sun Princess, we went on earlier this year, but pretty much the food is already made and it's in front of them. So is that unique? As we move on to number seven, boxing ring. Do you know of any other cruise line that has a boxing ring? Yes, up on top deck, you can go and do some uppercuts. I was never a boxer, never will be. At number six, it's time to sing. They have karaoke booths on board. Now, plenty of ships out there give you the opportunity to sing. Royal Caribbean, on Avia last year, I sang Snooker Loopy. You got a beautiful chin. You got beautiful skin. And me and Rachel sang Starship. I can only apologise to all the people in that room at that point. But if we were on Virgin, then we could have been singing away in the karaoke booth to just your friends or just yourselves. There is no drinks package on board. If you would like to buy and purchase some alcohol, you can pre-purchase a bar tab. They call it loot on board. And when you purchase it beforehand, you do get offers. For example, you might buy 150s worth and you'll get 300. There's always different offers, but there is no drinks package that you can purchase on board. Instead, you need to get your Pirate's Loop. Pirate's Loop? Pirate's Loot. Or just Loot. Arr. Don't forget to hit that like. And if you enjoy cruise content, hit the subscribe. As we move on to Virgin Voyages uniqueness, number Four, there is no MDR on board. <gasps> there is a plethora of restaurants on board, including Razzle Dazzle, Test Kitchen, Gumbe, 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 Gumbe. And they are, for example, what you would find as speciality restaurants on other cruise lines. And you can book these and they're all included in your cruise. Line. Number three. They're not called passengers, they're not called guests, they are called sailors. Sailors for your duration of your Virgin Voyages cruise. How do we feel about that? At number two, hammocks on the balcony. Now I've searched, but I can't seem to find another company that has these lovely hammocks and they are so comfortable. They don't look that comfortable, but actually, <laughs> Really, really comfortable and you can fall asleep as you're sailing away in the beautiful Caribbean sunshine, the European sunshine or the rain of Portsmouth. I hammocks, I'm not gonna say it. And at number one is they are all identical. Do you know any other cruise line that all of the four ships are completely identical? Yes, yes, I can hear you shouting at your TV screen, your tablet, whatever you're watching on, and you're saying, well, no, they're not completely identical. No, I know they're not. There is some artwork. There is little bits that are slightly different on all ships. And if you're a virgin expert, then you would know each individual uniqueness to each ship. 
But in general, if we are talking where all the restaurants are placed, the same restaurants, the pool, the gym, let us know if any of those 10 are not unique. Let us know if you can tell us any more unique things about Virgin Voyages in the comments below. And if you just tap on the screen, let's pop it just there. If you'd like a full ship tour of Resilient Ladies.